May 1945. The hot New Mexico desert seemed far from the ravages of war in Europe. One hundred tons of TNT, a rehearsal to scale and calibrate the power of an untested atomic weapon. Two months from this day, man would unleash the destructive power of a demon locked within the very fabric of matter and plunge the world into the atomic age. next 20 years, testing the power of the atomic bomb would hold the world captive by events shrouded in secrecy. Events set into motion seven years earlier. invades Austria. The Third Reich begins to flex its military muscle. Later that year, German scientists discover fission of the uranium nucleus, bringing the Third Reich one step closer to discovering the secret of the atomic bomb. Fear of German research stimulated activity in the United States and England. Fear that German scientists could produce weapons of great devastation. In the fall of 1939, Dr. Albert Einstein wrote his now famous letter to President Roosevelt, explaining the urgency of work on uranium fission. Roosevelt, a man of action, moved swiftly. An advisory committee on uranium was appointed. German forces invade Poland, plunging the nations of Europe into a Second World War. A new branch of the Army's Corps of Engineers was established to administer work on military uses of uranium. Major General Leslie R. Groves, the man responsible for the Pentagon, was placed in charge of the project. On December 2nd, the first self-sustaining chain reacting pile was successfully operated by Enrico Fermi. Fermi's success brought intense efforts between government and the private sector, creating huge industries for uranium separation in the town of Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and for the production of plutonium in Hanford, Washington, at the shores of the mighty Columbia River. This tremendous effort forged the materials necessary for creating an atomic bomb. The first atomic bomb was assembled at Los Alamos, a secret laboratory in New Mexico. When Dr. J.R. Oppenheimer arrived to take charge, he began to surround himself with a galaxy of outstanding scientific stars. From Los Alamos came the bomb design and treatment of many theoretical problems, yet many questions still remain unanswered. What are the secrets of this new source of power and destruction? Knowledge and information on all aspects of this new weapon are essential and can only be discovered by further testing. The uranium gun weapon, or little boy bomb, was a simple design, and scientists were confident it would work without testing. A fat man, or implosion bomb, was a more efficient design, using plutonium instead of uranium. Inside the very center of the bomb was an initiator, surrounded by a sphere of plutonium. This sphere was encased within a set of symmetrically located high explosive lenses, creating an implosion which forced the plutonium into itself, attaining critical mass.
A blast instantly raised temperatures to 10 million degrees, releasing a force of a million pounds of pressure, vaporizing the tower and all desert life within a half a mile. The intensity of light was sufficient to cause temporary blindness to an observer 10 miles away. With a yield 200 times greater than the 100-ton test, the fireball created a crater nearly one half mile across and fused the desert sand into a green glass still containing traces of radioactivity 50 years later. plunged the United States into war. For three years, gathering momentum with each small victory, our forces had conducted an offensive against the war-floated empire of the rising sun. Slowly, island by island, mile by mile, and then with ever-quickening sweeps, the combined land, sea, and air forces of the Allies drove against the borders of that empire, forcing it back until late in 1945, only the bastions of the Japanese home islands remained to be stormed. Ahead lay the greatest campaign of all, invasion of the Japanese homeland and close-in desperate fighting. That this fanatical enemy would not quit until her last fighting man had been driven from his cave and killed had been established time and again by bitter experience. The uranium gun weapon, or little boy bomb, was detonated over Hiroshima at an altitude of 1,800 feet, the height to achieve maximum blast effect. 
Three days later, a fat man implosion bomb was detonated over Nagasaki. In Hiroshima, 70,000 people were killed or listed as missing. Of its 90,000 buildings, over 60,000 were demolished. The implosion bomb dropped on Nagasaki took the lives of 42,000 people and injured 40,000 more. It destroyed 39% of all the buildings in the city. With a yield of 20 kilotons, similar to that of Trinity, this weapon would be considered a nominal atomic bomb and provide a blueprint for all future nuclear weapons. <laughs>